Got the uh, tunnel cut done. Um, took off about four inches off the back here. Um, these things are an absolute bugger to get off. Uh, just a tip. Um, if you just pop the rivets out of the running board, it swings out. And these pieces just come right out. If you try to force it, you're going to dent the tunnel. And... Uh, it's not going to look very good after. So yeah, now I just got to, this is a 141 a bumper on a 154. So yeah, turned out pretty good. We're going to get it all mounted here. Let's see what it looks like. Just got the bumper installed now. It turned out pretty darn good. Now on my other sled, I uh, put the rear taper piece back on. And what would happen is the track would come up and grab it and pull the whole tunnel down. So instead on this one, I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. And then I just cut, I trim this piece off of the, the rear tunnel section I cut off. I'm going to put that in there just to strengthen everything up a little bit on this back section. And then I'm going to get the uh, rear taillight mounted back down and had to, uh, Customize that a little bit as well. Just got the tunnel cut all finished up here. Turned out pretty decent. Got it reinforced quite a bit in the back. Tail light all mounted up. Had to chop it down, rebend it. Looks pretty dang good. When I reinstalled these, just put some quarter inch flange bolts and nuts on there. Oh um, yeah. Also, put these tunnel grips on here. These things are unbelievable. Um, it's an actual uh, Skidoo BRP accessory. They're like 50 bucks. Uh, they rivet on. I actually thought they were plastic, but uh, turns out they're rubber and they're super grippy. Um, really happy with those. Hopefully, <laughs> help keep my legs on the on the running boards a little bit better. Also, as you guys seen before, I put a hole in the belly pan of my sled. I got that all reinforced, uh, built a new aluminum belly pan, heavy duty, and put uh, some UHMW plastic under here. Should uh, slide over and take a way better hit than the stock aluminum skid plate. Got the uh, tunnel cut done, the wrap on there, pretty much everything is done with the sled that I'm going to do for the season. I might put a, a can on it, not too sure about that yet. But yeah, I just want to give a huge shout out to PG Motorsports and Lime 9 for hooking it up. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at it.